hello friends welcome to the soft learning today we will uh, simulate two bodies and we will apply the two material first we will apply the uh, stainless steel and then uh, we will apply the copper material to our structure and then we will see the reaction the results of it uh, when we apply the same force to both the structures then we will uh, see how both the structures reacts to a certain specific force uh, you will clearly see all the results of it uh, this is very powerful software solidworks and its simulation is amazing you will see it now so first of all i want to create my structure i am i want to create a simple structure after that you can sketch um, various structures according to your needs so i am selecting a front plane and uh, i want to draw a line and uh, i will show you how my structure will look like okay this is my sketch simple sketch and then i will go to feature exclude it bow set to create a solid body sorry mm, this is this is how i want to direct it and I will keep it three inch. Okay. Or you can you can write three. So this will three inch. And uh, the thin feature is how thin you want it. I will keep it zero point one inch. Okay. This is my structure. I will apply force on this surface. After this, uh, go to SolidWorks Adds In and uh, click the simulation and uh, click on New Study. So I want to fix it from the base and the back. Uh, you can see here the options. I will click on Fixtures and fix this geometry you can fix the geometry from this option option i want to fix this uh, face and this face so you can see here phase one and phase two are fixed and i clicked ok now i want to apply the force from the above so you can see the option here external loads so i want to apply force you can also apply torque uh, you can also apply the value of gravity and uh, all of uh, options are here so i want to apply the force on this surface in this direction the default value is one i want to increase it to 10 newton okay this is my structure and how the force acts on it now we want to mesh it and there is an option mesh and run click on this uh, material is not defined as i uh, as i told you earlier in the video that i will apply the material first of all stainless steel and then copper and i will then add the rubber material to show you on the uh, its displacement stress values etc all the simulation values so this is my materials and uh, this is steel folder i will apply the stainless steel sheet uh, its elastic modulus is um, less than the copper so it is not elastic as much as copper so, so i will apply this and now i want to mesh and run Click on Mesh and Run.
can see here I have I have selected the mesh entrant and there are the results in front of you so this is stress this is displacement uh, look here the displacement is high in this region and it is low in this region if you want its anima animation then you can see its anima animation see how it reacts to 10 newton force okay if you want i will show you some options go to chart options and show minimum annotation the the displacement is minimum here okay and show maximum annotation so in this point the notation uh, the sorry the displacement as maximum at this point convert this uh, form to general form then you will see it clearly the displacement at this place is 0 0.107 and at this point is 1 e minus 30 so Mm, this is the displacement value and this is the strain values for you for your study now i want to apply the copper uh, to check its value that how the displacement value changes so click on apply material and go to copper where is copper copper alloys Copper, go to aluminium or I will add aluminium okay I will I want to add this LI 1060 LI 1060 LI so I applied here and uh, click on this and run look look how the displacement changes in the uh, iron case sorry in the stainless steel case the displacement was different and in this case the displacement as 0.2 the displacement increased why the displacement increased because this is uh, the material the alloy material is more elastic than the stainless steel now i want to apply the rubber material okay uh, and i want to apply the rubber here is rubber natural rubber apply okay and the maximum value is 0 0.2 in the rubber case the maximum value will will appear now you can click yes but i will click no just to show you it is for your understanding see the maximum value is this much this is very large number of uh, value this is very high value so now uh, you are in position of complete understanding that how a material uh, affects the displacement first uh, i have selected the stainless steel the displacement was very low then i apply applied aluminium alloy then the displacement uh, increases increases slightly slightly and now i applied the rubber then the displacement is very much large compared to uh, previous two 
so this is for your understanding you can play with this software and you can check your structures with this um, you can also simulate uh, other types of simulations on it i will show it to you uh, in the next videos but that was uh, for your understanding to giving you concept of how we can simulate a structure how we can add the materials to it and how we can read the data from it okay i hope uh, you will understand better when you watch this video uh, if you have any question related to this video or other uh, simulation then you can ask me in the comment i will reply to it uh, wait for the other videos i will show you every type of simulation every type of structure i will try hard to uh, give you uh, better concepts Okay, thank you for watching.